hour to go on, day two in Niagara Falls. Let's go get some sushi. Uh, we're gonna go to a place called Wind. It is the highest rated, I believe, sushi in all Niagara Falls, at least highest rated all you can eat sushi in Niagara Falls. It's supposed to be really good. So let's get at it. Although I'm not gonna go so uh, dressed up. I'm, well, maybe I'll wear the shh, nah. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So let's go. All right, so we made it into Wind. Uh, it's definitely a busy spot, it's a happening spot. Uh, it's a pretty full restaurant, so I'm kind of at this awkward long bench table. They have a iPad ordering menu system, and the menu looks really expansive. Like they have everything from dim sum to not just sushi, but other like uh, Asian cuisine. So let's have a peek. I'm here for sushi, so let's have some fun. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, as today we're at Wind Sushi in Niagara Falls. So this sushi place had some of the best reviews, definitely for the all-you-can-eat variety, and I decided I would go test it out. Uh, the dinner cost was $32, so definitely a little bit on the higher end. However, we'll kind of see and decide if that price is worth it. So I started with just a few rolls and a couple simple items, a few pieces of sashimi, both of the crab, the salmon, it was white tuna, which was very nice actually. Also had a few sushi pieces, and then of course the, the maki rolls as I mentioned. They had some uh, really kind of different ways of doing uh, some of the rolls, like the spicy salmon rolls. Um, I also had a, I believe it was a barbecue eel roll which was right there it was called a black dragon roll actually which had a uh, sushi and avocado in it and then the barbecue eel on top so the tastes were really really good I was definitely enjoying this first plate um, which was very prompt actually um, which I was very very surprised with uh, again getting into some of the sushi here especially for how busy it was how quick I got my plate was very impressive I can't say that enough actually how quick this place was especially because like I said this thing was packed like the restaurant was absolutely full there was no tables around uh, that I could have so it's kind of this different looking bar thing which for our purposes worked out not too bad um, they had the little salmon rose sushis there which were really really nice uh, I like those they also had what is a spicy uh, I think it was scallop sushi right there or spicy crab sushi um, which was it was not bad and this little thing right here is like a chipotle salmon sushi or something but it was really it had a really really nice taste i actually liked that a lot uh, the maki rolls were great very well made that's everything else was very well made too like the presentation of everything definitely lended to the experience here i got a few more rolls coming my way some definitely spicy salmon um, and that is a spicy crab, I believe. Uh, so definitely wanted to give it a go. I found that, although in certain places, if I do like a crab roll, and it really depends. Um, sometimes it's warmer, sometimes it's not. But overall, um, the temperature, which is a very, very important part of my critique and my sushi experience, the temperatures were quite appropriate. In fact, I don't think there was anything that was actually cold. Uh, heading into some more of the sashimi, this is the white tuna sashimi, uh, which was excellent. Really large pieces, it was very fresh. This is the crab tempura, it was fine. Uh, none of the crab dishes here honestly were as exceptional as I have had elsewhere, but you know you take some you lose some. Definitely the white tuna sashimi made up for that. I had the large variety of rolls there, including the farthest one, or the one closest to me, farthest from the screen, which was a soft shell crab roll. I've had some soft shell crab experiences in the past and have very, very much enjoyed it. However, I will say that was probably the most disappointing roll. There is basically no actual crab in it, so it was just a lot of fluff. 
but again, it's not that it was horrible, it was just a lot of like cucumber, the mayonnaise, and then almost more like just, this is make sense, deep fried batter bits without actual meat or crab to sustain it. Like there it is right there. Um, so that was, I think I, I'm gonna go and say the only real item that was a little, eh, I don't know if disappointing is the right word, but could have been a lot, lot better. The soy sauce, interestingly enough, too, was, it kind of seemed watered down a little bit, if that makes sense. I've just had like stronger tasting soy sauce in the past, however, it definitely wasn't the worst by any means. I'm back at that uh, black, black, yeah, black California roll, I think, or no, black dragon roll, that's it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the smoked eel, or barbecue eel on top of the, basically a salmon avocado roll, which I really, really, really liked. I had at least three or four orders of that in general uh, because it was just exceptional and I really, really liked it. One thing I want to mention again is just the speed everything came out. I decided to try a what they're calling a mango salmon roll. So I was expecting, because the picture didn't show mango sauce on it, it looked like it would be mango in with the salmon roll. However, it was this mango sauce, which I'm not a fan of. I did also get some more sushi pieces, some more sashimi. The salmon sashimi wasn't bad, but by far the best sashimi they had that night was that right there, the white tuna. And again, these very, very nice pieces. What else was definitely very, very apparent and present was just the good sizes. Like these rolls, I don't know if you can tell that well or when I show them to the camera, but they're all very, again, nicely created and very good sizes. I was going definitely pretty hard um, in regards to the number of rolls I was consuming. And there's absolutely consistency through them both again in the size, the creation, um, but yeah, that mango sauce I'm not the biggest fan of, just find it tasting so fake, whereas like real mango I really enjoy. They did not have uh, fruit rolls on the menu, which I normally do enjoy. They did have the option to order fruit, like just a little bowl of fruit, it was like a sliced apple, maybe like two grapes and something like that, which was kind of interesting. I don't think I actually got me eating it on camera. Um, but again, I did eat it. They had a couple desserts, so I ordered some creme brulee, and these are deep fried Mars bars, uh, which I have had in other locations and I do really enjoy. A few more sushi pieces, salmon, white tuna, barbecue eel, and again, I think that is a spicy, it might have been spicy scallop or again, spicy crab, which wasn't bad. Barbecue eel is pretty standard, very, very rich, very, very savory. But like I said, I ate so many of the white tuna uh, sashimi and somewhat of the uh, salmon and white tuna sushi pieces because they were just so excellent. The way they did the spicy salmon rolls, which is there is like quite a bit of crispy whatever's in them, but the spicy mayonnaise they used, or the spicy, I'll call it sauce, it's like a mayonnaise, was actually probably the spiciest at any restaurant I've had so far. Generally, it's like a pretty standard spicy mayonnaise or spicy, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's supposed to be spicy chipotle, but it's like a spicy mayonnaise, which is very, very standard generally across all restaurants that I've been at, sushi restaurants, it's just very standard. It tastes great and I really enjoy it. But they definitely had a different, like sauce or different mayonnaise they're using here. It, I mean, really the only real flavor, just there's maybe a slight flavor distinction, but the biggest thing is that it was just, that it was just spicier. Um, and like I said, maybe there's a little bit of a flavor distinction, but everything was, again, very great. And you can definitely tell by this angle, or when I was actually eating the food, just how wide these rolls are. They definitely, like, over the diameter of the roll, it's like a couple inches, like just a certain, yeah, diameter, like a, at least an inch, and then the circumference obviously would be more. Uh, getting into these deep fried Mars bars, if you haven't ever had a deep fried Mars bar, they're great. I'm 
Mars bar is kind of like a chocolate bar with a caramel layer and nougat. And so what they do is they dip it in pancake batter really quick, sometimes tempura I've had in different places, and just like flash fry it, which just adds, it, like, make it, little, it makes it warm, and it just kind of adds an additional savory aspect to the sweetness. Um, so I did really, really enjoy these. Um, tried the creme brulee. Let's just find out what I think of it. Let's just say it wasn't the best item on the menu. Yeah. 108 pieces later. After eating 108 pieces, I ordered a couple more Mars bars, and so let's give a final review. Overall value, as it was about $40, I'm gonna give it about a seven out of 10. Um, the service, 10 out of 10, so fast. Overall taste, 10 out of 10. Overall experience, solid nine or 9.5 out of 10. It was great. And we may or may not just have had sushi, but I mean like, caramel apples, I gotta have one. So let's get one. All right, only because I've never seen this before, look at this. It's called a crunch cone, can you see that? So it's like literally the Oreo cookies, the M&Ms and stuff are mixed into the ice cream. So it's like a McFlurry in a cone. I don't want to do it, but I have to. All right, so I, I went with vanilla ice cream with Oreos and M&M pieces. So let's try this. It's not bad. The ice cream, the ice cream, eh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite tasting ice cream. I actually prefer to taste McDonald's ice cream, but But the Oreos and the M&M's in it are pretty nice. Is it worth four dollars? Nah. Here's uh, here's Golden Elvis. He acts. Give him money and he'll doing pictures. Here's this caramel apple. So it's caramel, chocolate. Let's try it. Softer than I imagined. The chocolate has a really interesting taste to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of tastes like raspberry in a way. It's just kind of weird. Yeah, kind of tastes like raspberry chocolate. I wonder if it's supposed to be raspberry flavored. Anyway, not bad. Uh oh, I'm making a mess. Anyway, you get the picture. So that everybody. Until next time. Stay happy, healthy, and hungry. And don't do what I do. Two hours, thousands of calories, and fifty dollars later, we are back at the hotel. Look at this view. This is crazy. Like I said, Little Niagara Falls is kind of like a little Vegas thingy thing. I, th I think I can go out on this little balcony area. Anyway, that's that Ferris wheel all lit up. Everything's all lit up. The camera is really not doing it justice through the window, but definitely pretty cool.